question number seven differentiate between angiosperm and gymnosperms answer write difference between then you have to make the column draw line at center on the right left hand side you have to write angiosperm and then at right hand side write gymnosperm with black marker now write the differences in points write the first point of angiosperm they grow in right with black pointer every type of atmosphere that is they grow in every type of atmosphere now write the first point of gymnosperm they are found in right with black pointer colder region they are found in colder region at high attitude now class by leaving a line write the second difference first write angiosperm they range in size from write with black pointer few millimeters to few meters in gymnosperms write the second point they are usually with black pointer tall plants now class by leaving a line write the third point first write in angiosperm leaves of most of the plants write with black pointer fall in autumn the third point of gymnosperm is they are right with black pointer evergreen plants the third point of gymnosperm is they are evergreen plants write evergreen with black pointer again by leaving a line write the fourth point or difference write in angiosperm leaves are usually write with black pointer broad and flat fourth point of gymnosperm is leaves are mostly right with black pointer fine needle like or small scale like fifth point or difference of angiosperm is flowers are present right present with black marker but cones are absent right absent with black pointer it means in angiosperm flowers are present but cones are absent now the fifth point or difference of gymnosperm is flowers are absent right with black pointer but cones are present right present with black pointer by leaving a line write the sixth difference of angiosperm is pollination is right with black pointer by wind as well as by right with black pointer insects class beta you have to write by wind 
or by insects with black pointers. The fifth difference, sorry, the sixth difference in gymnosperm is pollination is occurs only by wind. By wind you have to write with black pointer. Seven difference of angiosperm is seeds are right with black pointer and closed in fruits. In gymnosperm right seeds are right with black pointer naked or not enclosed both naked and not enclosed with black pointer in fruits. Eighth difference is right in angiosperm fertilization is double. Double you have to write with black. In gymnosperm fertilization is single. Single you have to write with black. Second last difference of angiosperm is they are classified into two groups right in new line vertically number one with black pointer monocotyledons and in the next line number two dicotyledons in gymnosperm right they are classified into two groups right again like angiosperm with black pointer number one cycade and in the next line number two conifers the tenth point is not a difference write the side heading as example then write in angiosperm wheat rice mango grass almonds etc in gymnosperms write the side heading example and write pinus cedrus thaja etc now write the question number eight write a note on thaja In answer, by leaving a line, write the main heading with marker Thoja in capital and write in bracket more punk. Write the points. Number one, it is commonly known as more punk, you have to write with black marker or pointer then write number two by leaving a line it is a short conical tree grown as right with black pointer ornamental plant in homes and parks again by leaving a line write the third point its branches are covered with a small dark green scale leaves the fourth point is in thoja right black pointer the female cones are again right with black pointer spherical or oval in shape and about the size of a spherical fruit which is locally called right with black pointer bear in bracket berry b e double r y the last point is these cones consist of hard brown color scales right with black pointer hard brown color scales with triangular apex now class you have to draw the diagram of thoja 
in front of this on the blank page in the book it is on page 99 figure 6.6 shoots of gymnosperms now write question number 9 what is the difference between monocot and dicot plant so class you have to draw margin or make column right first monocot plant heading and number 2 dicot plant heading with black marker right the first point in monocot monocot plants produce seed containing right with black pointer single cotyledon in front of it write the difference of dicot first point dicot plant dicot plants produce seed containing right with black pointer two cotyledons in bracket write seed leaves now by leaving a line write the second point of monocotyledon plant their roots are mostly right with black adventitious second point of dicot plant their roots are mostly right with black pointer branched tap roots again by leaving a line write the third point stem is mostly right with black pointer unbranched this is you have to write in monocot plant in dicot plant stem is you mostly branched right branched with black pointer fourth point is leaves are narrow and large with right with black pointer parallel venation the fourth point of dicot plant is leaves are broader than monocot but comparatively right with black pointer is small with reticulate venation the last point or difference of monocot is vascular bundles are right with black pointer dispersed in the dicot the last point is vascular bundles are arranged in a right with black pointer ring form now write the pointer heading examples in monocot and write from the new line corn grass wheat rice etc the examples of dicot are p mango almonds mustard sunflower etc the last question is give importance of vascular plants write the heading for answer with black marker importance of vascular plants now class write these importance in points and write the heading with black pointers and write with blue first heading with black pointer is source of food now from new line write many vascular plants especially angiospermic plants are source of food for example right with black pointer 
wheat, rice, pulses, maize, etc. By leaving a right line, write the second heading vegetables with black pointer. Write many vegetables such as write with black pointer potato, onion, carrot, radish, tomatoes, peas, lady figure. come from vascular plants. The third heading by leaving a line write food ingredients. Many ingredients of a food such as write with black marker or pointer sorry cooking oil continue again is extracted from right with black pointer olives mustard palm coconut soya bean and sunflower continue with blue which are vascular plants while right with black pointer sugar beet gap sugar cane are used in making sugar the next heading is delicious fruits many delicious fruits come from vascular plants for example mango apple, banana, apricot, peach, etc. Fifth heading is fodder for animals. Many vascular plants are used as right with black pointer fodder for animals. For example, grasses, sorghum, Barsim, Jantar, Herbs, Sherbs, etc. Next heading is Timber with black pointer. Write Timber for making. Black pointer say you have to write Furniture, is Sports Good. Then continue with Blue is obtained from these vascular plants for example right with black pointer shisham pinus deodar kikar etc next heading is medicines many useful products are obtained from these plants which are used in making right with black pointer medicine or serves as medicines next heading fiber fibers of some plants are used in making right with black cloth and rope with cloth black such as cotton and jute second last ornamental plants many vascular plants because of their bright colors fragrance and beautiful leaves are used for right with black pointer beautification as right again with black pointer ornamental plants for example rose jasmine tulip money plant etc the last importance of vascular plants is the heading you have to write shade and shelter then write large trees 
provide shade and shelter for men and animals and provide right with black pointer cooling effect so class these 10 questions are there and the last two is from exercise that is fill in the blanks and encircle the proper correct answer that is MCQs so class you have to write the correct answer in the book with pencil and write in your copy the first one is bryophytes are one of the two groups of plants the other being write tracheophytes with black pointer in the copy number two the nom dominant generation in bryophyte is gametophytes number three a sporophytic generation is partly or completely dependent on gametophyte in right bryophyte plants number four adiantum has a spore producing body found at wild areas the last one fifth one is gymnosperms have naked ovules now question number two make cross on it then write the third one that is encircle the appropriate answer class you have to write all these answers and write the correct one with black pointer so mark it the group of marcantia is the correct one is a you have to write hepatocy with black pointer and write b c d with blue same with all number two the group of funeria is the correct answer is b musky this you have to write with black pointer number three the group of anthocyros is answer is d1 anthocyro number four typical flowers are present in the group of spermatophyte the answer is b and sperm. the last one is horse tails are the common name of correct answer is c phenopsida take class so inshallah after that in the next period we have to start chapter number seven invertebrata